In this first demo, I will show you how I composed this minimalist and simple arrangement of this freshly made black forest cake. The very first step to my workflow is to look for inspiration and do a rough sketch of my composition. The easiest way to do it for me is to check Pinterest. I just typed black forest cake and got these beautiful photos giving me so many ideas to start with. Next, I did a simple sketch of how I want to arrange the elements in my scene. By planning and sketching in advance, you can save time and resources during the actual photo shoot. Once I have a vision for my photo shoot, I check my prop collection and get the ones that I don't have yet. My setup is usually the same for all my food and product photo shoots. A table as my surface, my artificial light with a soft box at the side or diagonally, then my tea stand to hold the background. I will be using a simple white backdrop. I have one for my surface and one for the background. If you will notice, the design on my backdrop is very simple so it won't distract from the main subject. Next are my props. I have a cake stand, a cake spatula, dessert plate, and cake forks. I also have cherries arrange the props before I bring out the cake, which is our main subject. I am following the principles of balance and visual weight to create a visually pleasing arrangement. Remember storytelling? I wanted to create a scene that tells a story of a freshly made black forest cake, so I included some of the cake's ingredients as props. So chocolate shavings and the cherry syrup at the back. Next is our main subject. I am slowly and carefully taking it out of the box and incorporating it into our scene here. I use the cake spatula to remove the cake from the carton base. I am just wiping smudges using paper towel. Then doing a bit of food styling to make our black forest cake more irresistible. I am using chocolate shavings from the back to cover obvious imperfections in front which will be captured in camera. Next, let me take a test shot. It looks dark for me, so I will be using a reflector to bounce light and fill in the shadows on the right side. That's better. I am happy with the settings and the exposure, but I feel that my arrangement looks busy instead of simple. So I will remove the plate at the back and rearrange the other props. Let's take another shot. This one looks simpler and balanced for me. Let me just try another arrangement. Let me just try to include the napkin in our scene to add interest, texture, and layer. I will also try and put the syrup in the foreground and the chocolate shavings at the back. And take another shot. This is my favorite so far. The handle of the ramekin bowl with the syrup helps in leading the eye to the subject. Next, I wanted to add a human touch to our simple composition here, so I thought of pouring the cherry syrup into the cake and capturing an action shot of it. I noticed that the cherries are looking dry, so I am just adding some cherry syrup to help them look luscious again. I love how it's adding another layer and texture to our subject. Just taking a step back to assess the overall arrangement and making some adjustment to fine-tune the composition. Now for the human touch shot, I will need to adjust the shutter speed of the camera to capture motion. With that, I also need to adjust my lighting so I would still get a good exposure. I am using my phone as a remote while I pour the syrup and take the shot. And here are the results. Before I clean up and move on with the busy scene, let me just take photos using different shooting angles. So I level. 45 degrees angle, overhead, and close up. And there you have it, a minimalist composition that focuses on simplicity, clean lines, and the beauty of the main subject. Some composition techniques that we were able to use in this photo shoot are visual weight, adding depth with foreground, midground, and background, leading lines, adding a human touch, and different shooting angles. 
even though we used a lot of composition techniques, we were able to make our subject shine by embracing simplicity. My top tip for composing minimalist compositions is to carefully choose props. Each prop should enhance the composition and contribute to the overall story. And remember, less is more. In the next demo, we will create an opposite vibe. We are going to challenge ourselves by arranging a busy scene. See you there!